Hi. Now I will show you how I make a ribbing with knit one, purl one. Only now the knit stitch is twisted. So I will twist knit one and purl one. This is what it looks like. And if I compare it to a regular knit one purl one ribbing you can see that the knit stitches are pulled quite a bit tighter and you can see when I pull them apart that the V shape of the stitch here does not have yarn that crosses each other it is two separate uh, pieces but here you can see how the yarn weaves into itself. And what I do is that first I cast on a number of stitches that can be divided by two because the pattern has two stitches, the knit stitch and the purl stitch, which is repeated. And when I twist knit, I pick up the yarn in a way that you can see there you can see that the yarn crosses as opposed to if I pick up the, uh, the stitch so that it opens up. Here the stitch opens and here you can see it twists. So the knit stitch I want to twist like this but I purl normally with an open stitch and these two stitches are repeated throughout the round like this And the result that I get is, as you already have seen, this column of knit stitches is quite a bit tighter than the one with a regular knit one purl one ribbing. It is still very elastic but it doesn't pull together quite as easily. You can see the purl stitches between. And it gives a whole different look to the ribbing. And you can also see here that the purl side looks the same as a regular knit one purl one uh, rib, only the purl bit here is a bit tighter. So this is the ribbing with the twist knit purl stitch. Thank you for watching.